The number of people in the U.S. with tattoos has more than doubled since 1936. Why? It's a Jaguar and I got it because I do the heptathlon and I run track. So the Jaguar is supposed to be like the most versatile animal in the jungles, like fast sprints, you know, could jump high. About the same number of men and women have tattoos today. Men mostly request designs on their arms and women prefer their neck or hips. Tattoo is more of everyone now. Back in the day it was more kind of for your, kind of like your gangster guy or your biker guy, but now it, it transitioned to more of the general public. Sports stars such as the Los Angeles Lakers, celebrities such as Angelina Jolie, and popular MTV shows such as LA Inc. expose and popularize tattoos. A lot of young people does, like for fun and whatever, but after that when you have like a serious job or whatever, grandchild, what are you going to do with your whole arm like tattooed and stuff? Some people worry that they will regret getting a tattoo or that their artwork would threaten their chances of getting hired. As long as you, you know, hide them or it's not too many showing you, you don't have like a gang sign on your forehead or a swastika, you know, you should be able to have a little bit of artwork showing here and there. People give various reasons for inking themselves. Romance, commemoration, group identification, and religion, among others. I look down at a couple of them sometimes just to remind me that I need to stay focused and stay, you know, keep my faith in God and things like that to help me through my races and stuff like that. Whether or not you like tattoos, the trend of acceptance is likely to continue. I'm Samantha McDonald reporting.